Hello girls, family. How are you? I hope you're doing great. You're welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm welcoming you with a warm, warm hug. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gloria Kelechi, welcoming you from the city of Port Harcourt, Nigeria, to my channel. So today, in this video, I want to work with this particular fabric i saw this fabric in the market and i loved it so in this video i want you to make a gown a ruffled gown i'm sure you're going to enjoy this video if you have any comments you have anything to say about the dress you can drop a comment for me in the comment section okay so these are all the things i'm going to be using to make this dress so here i've started taking my markings i want them dress to be a princess that and i want it to have breast cup so i'm taking the measurement and i'm drawing out my breast cup just like you see me do right now so i'm taking out my full body measurement and i'm cutting it out i'm not going to cut out the neck now i'm going to cut the neck when i'm done turning so i'm just trying to take the shape of the zip i'm trying to shape the back side so when i put the zip it will relax on the body it will not pop out it's not pop out of the um, back so when with this shape now the zip is going to relax so i'm just trying to cut out the that line for the back of the top so i'm just taking out the that from the dress this is the skirt part the lower part of the dress i'm taking up my skirt measurement and also shaping that zip side as well so this is my skirt so i've laid out the top and the skirt and i've cut out the lining to the dress so i'm just going to go now and pad the upper part of the dress so I've padded it and I'm trying to, I first of all padded it with cloth gum. Now I'm trying to cut out the wording. So I've cut out my wording and I'm just going to use the iron to press it, gum it to the dress. I use the softest um, wording. I use the softest gum, gum stair to gum it. So I'm cutting out the breast pad now. Cutting it, so I've done cutting it and I'm done gumming it to gumming the dress and the lining. So I'm just sewing it now, as you see me do. I'm sewing the breast part and I'm taking my time in sewing this breast part. You just need to take your time so that you get it right. There's no need to rush it. So I'm checking it if what I did is right. So it's okay i'm just going to join the other parts as well so i'm done joining and i'm checking to see yeah it's okay so i'm still i'm now going to go and join the line i'm still going to do the same thing i did with the fabric i'm going to repeat it on the lining so i'm with my ironing ball or taylor's ball any name you may want to call it I'm using it to iron the breast pad, yeah, so that the breast pad side to give me the shape that I want. So right now I'm just going to take the shape of the neck. I'm going to cut the neck. Remember I didn't cut that neck when I was cutting the dress. I waited till I sewn the breast pad together. So right now I want to take the neck. The type of neck that i want so for the back i'm just going to go with a high neck going with one inch for the back then for the front i'm going to go with a v-neck so i'm taking six inches for the neck for the front v-neck six inches is okay it won't be too revealing so yeah I'm going with v-neck for the front and the round neck for the back one inch for the back and six inches for the front so i'm done cutting it and i'm checking to see 
and it's okay yeah the depth of the neck is okay so i'm just going to comb the lining so that when you turn it to the dress it will stay firm when you comb the lining with this gum stair, if you use if you turn it to the dress to stay firm or like when you don't turn it to keep to, to keep shifting and it to not give the dress any firmness so that's why i have to part the neck so right now i'm turning the neck of the dress with the lining and i'm also joining the shoulder so I've joined one of the shoulders and I'm also going to join the other shoulder together. Now I'm putting my zip. One thing I do before I put my zip is I always use pin to pin it in place so that it doesn't shift from where it's supposed to be. So pin does a great job for me. I just use the pin to hold it together so that I can put the zip with ease. So yeah, I'm done putting the zip and I love the outcome. See how it's relaxing. So I'm just going to take the dress to the table and cut out the back's shape. That is that shape that looks like V. I'm going to cut it. So I'm taking four inches. Now from that place I marked to the lower part is four inches. So I'm going to shape it from that four inches I marked. I'm going to just give it the kind of shape that I want. So I'm just going to fold the dress in to see if the shape is actually what I want before I go ahead to cut it. So I've folded it in right now. And I think it's okay. So I'm just going to cut it. The shape is okay so i'm going to cut it and then i'm going to use the remainder of the fabric to join it okay before i do that i'm just going to measure it round i have 42 inches i'm going to double that 42 into two when i double it then i'm going to cut a fabric that is double of 42 42 plus 42 that is 84 so i'm going to cut a fabric that's 84 inches long and five inches wide so the length is 84 and the width is five inches so i've also gone ahead to gather the dress and i'm not pinning it i've gone ahead to gather the fabric that i cut out now i'm pinning it to the dress i use pin because pin helps to give you um foresight of what the actual outcome is going to look like so i'm done pinning it right now and i'm checking to see if it's what i want if it's coming out the way i want it to come out so yeah it's already coming out the way i want it to come out so I'm just going to take it to the machine and sew it. Yeah, so I'm done sewing it. And this is the applique, applique that I added to the neck to put fancy around the neck area. So as you can see, the dress is looking so chic and beautiful. The zip is relaxing. See the zip just went inside, no puffing out. That's the reason for that curving at the back. So yeah, this is the final outlook of the dress. Thank you so much for taking out your precious time to watch. I really appreciate your time on my channel. And I want you to please, please stay tuned for the next video. Do where to like and subscribe to the channel, okay? God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye.